On the 1800 block of North 7th Street, the Lynn family turned out their lights and went to bed around 8.30 Sunday night. Jeremy Lynn, a volunteer firefighter for Ty, woke up to use the bathroom. Says that's when he smelt the smoke. And when I opened the bedroom door, I seen the glow. And then the next thing I knew, he, he was screaming fire. He started getting us out and waking us up and screaming for the kids to run. Jeremy went into action, grabbing a blanket, trying to suffocate the fire. But it was too late. The fire had taken over the uh, the couch and the wall in the living room. Um, it spread throughout the living room. Jeremy's wife and their three children ran out the back door as smoke filled the neighborhood. One of the Lynn's dogs got out, but sadly, two hamsters and their teacup chihuahua didn't make it. I couldn't go back in to get her. I was just too terrified. We knew that she was probably gone. The Abilene Fire Department contained the fire, but the damage was done. Smoke and, and heat uh, melted all the TVs, the kids' toys. Um, she had like a little Barbie Jeep from Christmas and um, just, just all their stuff, their beds, their clothes. Um, yeah, Hannah doesn't even have shoes or socks. Neighbors donated clothes for the Lynn family to wear today. The Red Cross has also stepped in, putting the family up for three days at the Witten Inn off Highway 80. Unfortunately, that means in two days, the family has nowhere to go. Thanks, Casey. The family lost most of their furniture, clothes, school supplies. If you'd like to help, you can go to our website, ktxs.com. There's another way you can help. The family has gone through so much. And you can also drop off clothes, furniture, even school supplies for the girls at Thai City Hall. They're collecting items there. The address is... Uh, 205 North uh, Street in Thai, or you can mail any donations that you'd like to to Post Office Box 369 Thai, and the zip code there is 79563.